In this video, I'm going to walk you through how I made this custom nightlight with remote controlled color changing LEDs. For this build, I'm using a leftover piece from a custom name puzzle that I cut out on the scroll saw. As you can see here, I took the piece and resawed it in half on the bandsaw. This gave me two pieces that I would use for each side of the nightlight. Originally, I was going to make the whole nightlight out of walnut, but decided using these pieces of spalted maple might add a little interesting color flare and kind of tie it together nicely. So I'm going to use those as spacers, use these pieces of acrylic that I will sand later in the video to give a frosted look on the back side, and then a strip LED that will go on the inside, and you'll see more how this goes together throughout the video. The controller for the LED required a little bit of an inset, so I just used a chisel to remove a little piece of the wood and then my drill press to have a through hole for the cord to slide through. I purchased the LEDs as a kit from Amazon. I'll include a link in the description below if anyone's interested in using the same one. They're pretty easy to use. Uh, you can cut the length you want along indicated lines. Now I soldered it, but you can also, the kit also includes um, preset connectors that are really easy. You just basically snap them into place or they're already installed on the end of the wires. I used regular wood glue to secure everything together. Um, I wasn't too concerned about how flush everything was because I'd be cleaning it up all later on the table saw and sanding it flat. So. Uh, it's kind of nice just to clamp it and not worry a little bit about tolerances there. Used a lot of clamps. The uh, Rockler Bandit clamps came in really handy for this. The acrylic I just cut on the table saw to the size I would need. Peeled off the protective cover and then gave it a good sanding so it would be frosted. Now I only actually glued down one side of the nightlight. I wanted to be able to have one side be removable in case for some reason I needed to get in and change something um, and thought it would also be easier to do the assembly process if I could get all the lights and everything in at one time and then just be able to secure the back on. So here I'm cleaning up those edges that I talked about earlier. Just a slight trim and then sanding everything nice and smooth. Once I was happy with the shape and finish of the housing, I came back and used some epoxy resin to secure the pieces of acrylic into place. Um, in retrospect, after doing other projects, I probably would have just used some CA glue to do this, but the resin worked out well. Uh, it just took a little bit longer to dry than CA glue would have. I also used the epoxy to secure the controller for the LEDs into place. Um, they fit right in that hole that I had notched out earlier. The LEDs come with a adhesive backing. Um, as you can kind of see as they pull it apart, there are some spots where the adhesive isn't exactly stuck, but for the purposes of this project, it was more than enough. Um, I have seen other people reinforce their LEDs with either hot glue or um, CA glue to keep them in place. Um, and I did reinforce the circuit board with hot glue to make sure it didn't wobble around too much. I put the receiver for the controller right behind one of the letters so that the IR from the remote could easily pass through and control it. I filled all the letters with resin. I did this to help diffuse the light and just create an interesting look instead of just the plain frosted. I used a heat gun to help illuminate the bubbles and bring those up to the surface so that there would be a nice clear finish and you wouldn't see those once everything was cured. After I let it sit and cure, I used a wipe-on polyurethane uh, and did a several coats, which I think really helped bring out that grain in the wood. I love how walnut pops when you get it with an oil finish. After the finish had dried, I reassembled everything and then tested it out. I'm really happy with how this came together and I'm especially happy with being able to use a scrap from another project to be able to create another product. 
If you like this video and like to see more, hit that subscribe button with a little bell icon next to it. You'll get notifications the next time a video come out. And I'd love if you give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends.